Happy Wednesday, Brain Scratchers. John Lorden here with an update on a searchlight case that we covered a few weeks ago, the disappearance of teenager Selena Cauley. Now, I had been prepping a major update for you guys. Her father, Brian, really engaged the comment threads, uh, and that's something that we, we always hope for in terms of us putting out these videos where we are looking to get the best information that we can out there. Thanks to all of your great questions and conversation in that thread, uh, Brian really engaged it and we got to hear some additional information. It seems that Selena had run away several times before. Uh, some of you were wondering about the clothing that was seen at the Circle K. Was that uh, clothing that she was known to wear? He came back with the information, no, that that was not clothing that they recognized from her home. Um, so we had a bunch of additional details, but quite honestly, we got the best news of all. Selena is safe. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the Praying for Selena Cauley Facebook page with the post that they made on January 29th. Selena has been found safe. Thank you so much for your love, prayer, support, and encouragement. We wanted to get this wonderful news out as soon as we could, so we don't have details. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you to all the many agencies involved. And thank you all so very much for all you have done. As you can imagine, this is an emotional and busy time for the family. So we ask for your understanding as they will need some privacy at this time. There have been several news articles also echoing this news, but at patch.com, we get another interesting detail here. An investigation is underway after a Mooresville teen who was missing for more than five months was recently located according to authorities. Quote, Selena has been located and she is safe, Mooresville Police Department said in a statement Monday. There are many other agencies involved who have contributed to her safe return, and it's still under investigation. Um, now, what I'm wondering about that is, are they investigating possibly who was taking care of her? Like I had mentioned in the first video, uh, in similar cases we've seen like this, where a teenager runs away, is eventually found and brought home. Sometimes there are charges for the people that have been taking care of them. Uh, delinquency of a minor usually being a typical charge. So I'm wondering if it's something along those lines. I also know many of you out there in the comment threads were wondering if something could be happening in the home and maybe that's a reason why Selena had left in the first place. Uh, I don't know if that's really what's going on in this situation, but just know there is an active investigation going on, so if there is some aspect to that, that's likely to be routed out and dealt with as well, if, if it needs to be. Uh, like I said, I'm just, I am personally don't subscribe to that, but I just want to recognize I saw many of you um, actually wondering about that possibility. But the important news, she's safe. She's been located, and uh, hopefully this is a family that can grow together again and maybe be able to help her in some way so that she doesn't feel like she has to run away from home in the future. And I think that's kind of one of the best outcomes that we can get on these searchlight cases. Pretty rare that we actually see an outcome like this. So my heart's a little bit lighter today. I hope yours is too. We are doing heavy, heavy work on the case of Jason Landry. We're going to have an episode on Friday like nothing that you guys have seen on the channel before. It's uh, It was so much work. I actually asked for help from the Unfound podcast. Ed Denzel is going to be joining me as we go through all the new information, new photos, and interview Jason's father, Kent, all in one shot. On top of that, uh, his father sends us an additional photo that he wants to make us aware of as well. A lot of new information, uh, a lot of questions answered, but almost a bizarre new mystery opened up particularly in the discovery of Jason's clothing and pictures from that same day that are suggesting Jason took off the clothes that he was wearing after the car accident. Could that be the result of a head injury, something else? I don't know, but we've basically got a supersized episode of Searchlight coming for you on Friday. I hope that you guys will check it out. Stay safe, take care, and I'll see you again on Friday here with that big episode on the Lord and Arts channel. 